go ahead and get started. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Can you guys see me? If you are on live, can you see my face? Or are you just yeah. looking at the PowerPoint? I can see your, I can see both. Okay, I can't see myself. So anyways, that's fine. Okay, so we are going to talk about our immune system, what it is, and um, a few different key components. So our goal tonight is to learn how to protect, protect, restore, and nourish our immune system. Because this time of year, our immune system starts to fall and um, we, we start battling. Kids are going back to school, there's extra sugar intake, all different kinds of things that play a role into our immune system. Um, so let's talk about some signs that you need to boost your immune system. If you have, before I begin, um, grab a pen and a paper so you guys can take some notes. And while people are still kind of jumping on, I'm gonna take a quick second to introduce myself. So my name is Shannon Hansen. I am a holistic practitioner. I'm also a stay-at-home mom of three little girls. And I also work with a company called Zija International. I volunteer at the PTA and the Booster Club at my daughter's school. I work with a nonprofit organization here in Arizona. And I also um, volunteer in my church and fulfill callings and duties there. But I'm also, and as well as my mom duties such as piano and soccer and gymnastics, and I run a small farm. So I don't have time to be sick. So if you guys answer yes to two or more of these questions, um, I want you to pay extra attention tonight. So the first question is, do you catch colds easily? Do you get sick more than twice a year? Are you suffering from chronic infections? Do you or your child miss five days or more of school or work per year because of illness? If you've answered yes, pay attention. Who here takes vitamin supplements to boost their immune system? I know before I took, um, I took echinacea, I took vitamin C, I took, um, oh shoot, I took a B complex, calcium, magnesium. I took all these different supplements every single day because I wanted to be healthy and I knew how good I could feel and um, with those supplements but I'm going to teach you guys how to maybe save a little bit of money because I was spending probably $150 a month on supplements. So let's talk first things first. Some things that we can do is reduce our, our sugar intake, exercise regularly. That's really important to get our body moving and the, the juices in our body, the lymph nodes moving. Um, I don't know how to do that for my iPad. Sorry, my Erlin. Um, okay, sorry. Um, exercising regularly gets your lymph nodes moving and those juices so your body can flush out the toxins. Um, eating a well-balanced meal, fruits, veggies, whole grains, um, meats, healthy fats, those kind of things as well as getting enough sleep, managing our stress levels, which sometimes our stress levels come from outside sources. So finding ways to cope with those stresses are going to be very important for all of us. Um, the next thing for me, I have found maintaining a well-kept house. And I'm not saying, you know, your house has to be immaculate, but something that is important is wiping down um, like window, not windows, um, light switches and doorknobs and things like that to help keep the germs contained. So let's understand what our immune system is. Um, the two main gateways to our body are gonna be our digestive tract, which will thin food and, oh, Sorry, you guys, I've got Facebook pulled up. Um, is this okay, Holly? Okay, I'm gonna close this down so I don't get distracted. Um, 
So our digestive tract, which lets in food, our lungs, which lets in the air, and there are airborne um, germs and bacteria and different things like that. Um, so what we need is a strong mucous membranes that are going to help protect our digestive tract and our respiratory system, because those are going to be our first line of defense um, during these invaders. So we can use essential oils to help protect our body. My favorite is ProShield because ProShield is a protective blend. So the picture on the um, left, you'll see a spray bottle with a sticker that says ProShield. I put about 10 drops of ProShield in there and then topped it off with um, distilled water. And that's what I use to clean my light switches, my countertops, um, doorknobs, things that are regularly touched and used to help spread the germs. It has essential oils in there like um, clove and cinnamon and all those things help boost our immune system and protect it, as well as our beadlets. Now I don't recommend the beadlets for young kids, but they're great for adults. They're easy to just pop in your mouth, freshen your breath, and um, kind of go. This recipe right here is our bomb recipe. This is something that you can use when you start feeling that tickle in the back, the back of your throat. And I think some of you guys may be calling in, so I'm gonna just kind of read off this recipe. It's gonna be six drops Pro Shield, six drops, six drops lemon, and three drops oregano in a 10, milliliter roller bottle and you're going to top it off with fractionated coconut oil and once you kind of start feeling that tickle in the back of your throat or you know that first sign that you know achy body different things like that i would apply it to the bottoms of the feet and along the spine two to three times a day this one is our healthy kiddo recipe um this is not recommended for kids under three and even five is kind of pushing it um, because it contains hot oils like cinnamon and clove, like I mentioned before. But for kids five and up, it's great. Um, go ahead and do the same application on the bottoms of the feet and along the spine. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys a recipe for kids that are under five years old here in a second. So this is an alternative. Um, I had a baby in January and so I went to Dr. Scott Johnson and I said, what do I use for my baby to help boost her immune system? I have kids coming home that are at preschool and things that are bringing in germs and I wanna keep her as healthy as possible. And she had actually been battling bronchitis at that time. And so he recommended two drops lemon, two drops tea tree and two drops lavender in a roller bottle and again apply along the feet or on the bottoms of the feet and along the spine and this is great for kids that are five years and younger um, and it's a really simple easy cheap blend to make yourself this is my favorite and one of our, my very first lines of defense is our hand purifier because it kills the bad germs but it leaves the good germs, which helps protect um, my body, my kid's body. It moisturizes the skin. It also has aging properties in it because it's made with um, Moringa Oleifera and other essential oils. Every single time I have used this blend or this um, hand purifier, hand sanitizer, in public, people say, oh my goodness, what's that smell? It smells so good. And it just is a great way to start a conversation about essential oils. And this has been proven to be more effective um, than other hand sanitizers on the market. If you guys can, can you mute your line for me really fast? If you are on, there's some background noises. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. So this blend is an immune boosting blend. It is 100% unique to Ameo essential oils. They did um, a study or a test using the KCO2 analysis. You guys don't need to know what that is. 
Um, unless you want to, we might do another video on that. But they used a form of science um, that helped them come up with this blend and it is proven to be an immune boosting blend. It helps fight the antioxidant or it helps give you your daily antioxidants and fights free radical damage, which weakens our immune system. So you're gonna use three drops of this in a veggie cap. I recommend topping it off with fractionated coconut oil because the fat just helps it absorb better into your body. Um, or taking it with a meal, same thing that you do with any other um, medication, basically, that you get from a doctor. Or diffusing this. I diffuse this in my home and um, it's, it's just great for my kids. Let's see, I might try to mute. I think I can do this. Thank you guys for being patient with me. All right. Okay, there we go. Um, so something else that is, again, 100% unique to amino essential oils is our cell health series. This cell health series, um, again, they found these, these blends of essential oils using the KCO2 analysis. We have our nourishing blend, we have our immune support blend, and we have our antioxidant blend. And together they work synergistically to support our body on a cellular level. Now when we're dealing with our immune system, it's very important to nourish our cells because our cells are the basis of life and the basis of our immune system. So you kind of have a couple options here. You can take it if you're an adult or a kid that can swallow pills, um, take it in a capsule every day, morning and night. Or you can, again, make a roller bottle and apply it to the bottoms of the feet and along the spine. Um, I put a recipe on here. If you are calling in, it's two drops each for kids and then 10 drops each for adults in a 10 milliliter roller bottle topped with fractionated coconut oil. One of the best ways that I have found to protect my family and my home is through diffusing essential oils because it gets into the air, it kills the free radicals, and it gives us the antioxidants that we need. So these are just some ideas. Ginger is the highest, um, the essential oil that contains the highest amount of antioxidants in it, which I was surprised when I learned that. That was um, taught to me by Dr. Penoal in France. And um, some other great ones are lemon, orange, pro shield, cell support, clove, cinnamon, oregano, frankincense, and so on. So to restore our body, we are going to, we need sleep. Sleep is vital for our body to restore itself. And so this blend right here is our liquid sleep blend, um, equal parts. True lavender, ylang ylang, um, hair tranquility, vetiver, and roaming chamomile. And that, you guys, I start smelling that and I'm falling asleep. I just love that blend. And um, it's just very calming, very soothing, very relaxing. And I sleep wonderful. My kids sleep great. Um, but I know there are some kids out there who struggle with bad dreams. And so, juniper berry frankincense and lavender all help with fear and um, are also very relaxing to the body and help you fall asleep. Okay, the next thing is the waterfall technique. This waterfall technique has been developed by Dr. Scott Johnson he is um, a certified aromatherapist as well as a naturopath and has studied under many fantastic um, and very knowledgeable people. And he says this specific massage technique has been proven to restore, um, okay, yeah, restore balance renew, oxygenate, protect, soothe, quench, synergize, enhance, and rejuvenate our cells on the cellular level. 
And here are some foods that are easy to add into your every single day activities um, that help boost your immune system. Things like garlic and onions. I Let me tell you guys, my kids don't love them, but it's easy for me to hide them in the food when they are finely chopped. Um, peppercorn, honey, Greek yogurt, um, dark leafy greens, broth. This time of year, a lot of people do soups. So adding broth in is really easy. Um, citrus is gonna start coming in season. Here in Arizona, we just go over to my in-laws and we get fresh lemons, oranges, grapefruits, and uh, those are really high in antioxidants and just help support our immune system. But if you wanna take it one step further, you guys need Moringa Olifera, hands down. And I'm gonna tell you why. One, there are 48, 46 antioxidants. That is going to feed your cells the, the nutrients that needs and help fight the free radicals in your body, which make you sick and bring you down. Um, let me see. Okay, there we go. Um, Moringa is a tree that can do wonders for the body as well as the immune system. It is, it has great therapeutic and healing powers and abilities, which can greatly benefit the human body. The tree's leaves have the capacity to treat around 300 diseases. The Moringa tree is an excellent source of vitamin A, B, C, and E, and minerals such as calcium, magnesium, iron, and more. It has 95 different nutrients. Now you guys remember that vitamin A, B, C, all those different things, because we're gonna get down here and we're gonna compare those things. So remember, those are important in boosting our immune system. So our immune system is dependent upon the amount of vitamins and minerals that we have in us. So when we are deficient in vitamins A, B, um, folate, vitamin C, vitamin E, those suppress our immune system, as well as being deficient in iron, zinc, magnesium, and psyllium. So if you come over here and you look at the chart, you're gonna see that you're getting more vitamin A than carrots, more, spinach, more iron than spinach, more potassium than bananas, and so on. And these are just a fraction of the antioxidants and the vitamins and the minerals that you're gonna find in Moringa. And as we all know, vitamins don't work when they're isolated. You need to have a good, strong multivitamin um, that has minerals and vitamins and just kind of a whole um, gamut of everything that brings total balance to, that, to your body. And that's why my family has chosen Moringa and why we have specifically chosen ZJ International because they produce the highest quality Moringa on the market, hands down. So when we first started drinking Moringa, my, my oldest, was, she wasn't totally crazy about it. She would drink it if I made her. Um, but what I found is creating a smoothie, I was able to get the super mix in her that I wanted. And so here's my recipe. If you are, excuse me, calling in, um, go ahead and write this down. You're gonna use four cups, greens, kale, spinach, um, is my favorite blend. I use one packet of super mix, one peeled orange, one kiwi, two tablespoons flax seeds or chia seeds. Sometimes I put both in there. It's just an easy way for me to make sure my kids are um, getting those healthy fats and added um, nutrients that they need. One cup Greek yogurt, two cups mixed berries, and I actually use one cup coconut water if you're looking at this. Um, it says half a cup. And then I like ours a little, um, I guess thicker, I don't know. Um, so we add ice just for the texture and to have it cold. Um, but that's going to be about, so that produces um, about two adult servings. So I make that for myself and then divide it among my kids. 
Um, each serving is going to be about 330 calories, almost 19 grams of protein, and about 9 grams of fiber. So on behalf of myself and my family and the other four moms that I work with, we want to say thank you. Thank you for taking time to learn about your immune system and things that you can do in your family to protect, restore, and nourish your body so that you can um, contain that optimal health. So if somebody invited you here tonight, I, want, I encourage you to get back with them. Contact them, let them know what you learned, let them know that you attended. Um, but if you are not working with someone and you are interested in getting started and, and learning more, I'd be happy to work with you. My email is here on the screen. Um, you can also contact me through Facebook, Sustainable Wellness, um, Instagram, sustainable.wellness, or my website, sustainablewellnessaz.weebly.com. Um, and thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I applaud you for taking charge of your health, taking charge of your wellness for not only yourself, but your family. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording.